Hello everyone, I'm Jake and today we're going to look at the Oneida Dust Deputy 2.5. We're going to put it together, assemble it, and we're going to look at the differences between this one and the old one and we're going to check out the airflow difference. So let's do this. This is the Oneida Dust Deputy 2.5. This is a brand new product from Oneida. I'm going to go ahead and put it together and then compare it to an old one that I have with the air meter and see what the, the suction or airflow is like. Um, let's get to it. I have everything over here and I'll show you what comes in the box and we'll put it together and then we'll get to the test. First thing you have is you're going to have your bag that all your hardware comes in as an instruction manual, some advertisement stuff, all the, the nuts and bolts and washers, wheels, uh, brackets, everything you're going to need to put this together. Here's the hose that's going to go from your shop vac to here. This is the gasket that goes in between this and the bucket. This is the anti-static tape that's going to go, that's going to be the first thing I do actually. So it goes from here to there and from there to there. Uh, we'll get to that. And then obviously we have our retaining ring for the top of the bucket. We have the lid, which has a seal in there. That white part is a seal. And of course, 10 gallon metal bucket. The first thing is this anti-static tape. And it says to go around like that. And we're gonna go to this hole down here. And it shows that on the directions and go straight up. So about right here, I'm gonna go ahead and cut that. Now the reason I did this first was because that goes, there's a bolt that needs to go through that to hold it all together. Now if you put this all together and then you put this on, you have to take the bolt back out and do it. So I just figured I would uh, do this first this time and see how that works. Now we'll get to the beginning of the instructions. These three brackets right here are gonna hold the wheels and it's gonna be underneath the bucket to hold it up. But this corner is gonna go over this, this corner is going over that, and that corner is going that, and it'll kind of lock together. So. We do a little something like this, put this, and it's very obvious which bolts are these. There's, this is the only set of this size bolts that, that come with it. And so you just kind of get these finger tight for the moment. And all you really need tool wise for this is a half inch and a 7 16 it says. So if you notice, this bracket has hexagon shaped holes that fit this hexagon shaped nut. And it'll go in there like this. We also have a strip of these brackets. We'll get that off and then we'll put it like this. Now there's nylon nuts that come with this thing. We're just gonna get them finger tight for right now. And you'll see why in a minute. And I'm gonna do that to all of them. Now we're gonna put the metal bucket on top of here. And this bracket fits over the edge of that lip. And you're gonna fish them all in there like that. So I'll go ahead and make sure these are tight. And you see how that, that bracket goes over that lip. See that? I'll go ahead and make sure these are tight now instead of just We're about to attach the cyclone to the lid. And if you can see here, I already poked a hole in this, uh, this anti-static tape. I poked a hole in that already so that a bolt will go through there. And we're just gonna put this upside down like this, put our gasket on there, put our lid on it, line up the holes your best you can. And then I have a washer and a bolt. This nut just goes on there, it has a washer built onto it. So we're just gonna do that. We'll put all these in. I'll go ahead and get all these just finger tight. And we'll get a wrench on each side of this. I'm gonna snug these down and alternate the sides, kind of like doing wheels on a car. 
Okay, tighten them up. I think both of these are ready to go now, so this is, goes on there like that. It looks pretty cool. And this thing is going to go on top like that. And it goes around the lid. Locks it in there securely. And then that locks it in. So there we are. We are done with this whole assembly right here. Now we just need to hook some hoses up to it and put it to a shop vac. Let's do that. The main focus of my channel is stabilized wood. Uh, resin casting and I make all that stuff and then I turn it on the lathe. As a matter of fact, we have a live show that we do the resin casting every Saturday. Uh, that being said, the most viewed video on my entire channel is the Oneida versus another separator uh, versus video and I'll put a link to that up there and in the description below. But the point is, Oneida knows that I have several of these throughout my shop. I have a super dust deputy and I have two more of these throughout the shop and they're set on the switches so they come on it, 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 when you turn on your machine they come on you don't have to worry about it it's super convenient so they sent me this one uh thank you onada by the way i'll have links to these uh, amazon below so that being said let's get started on these uh differences on these first thing you're going to notice is that this is a lot bigger than this just overall we're not even talking about the inlet and outlet sizes yet there, um, this thing is a lot taller. I think it's a lot bigger around on the top. The flanges are the same though. So if you have an old system uh, bucket that you've already converted or whatever, this will bolt right to it. So uh, let me turn this this way so you can see the there's an obvious size difference between this um, inlet and this inlet and the hose will work on either one of them and i'll show you that in a second um, the the one coming from the vacuum that goes in here it's an obvious size difference too pretty simple and the hose i'll show you how the hose hooks to it here is the hose that comes with this and it goes into the top just like that so the inside of it or the outside of it goes on the inside of the the separator on this old one it's going to go all the way down and then fit. And of course, the other end fits into the shop back. Now let me show you the old one. This is the hose that came with this one. Same thing. Fits on there. It doesn't really fit as great as it should, I guess. But it fits right in there tightly. So it'll still work on, your new, on, the, on the new one if you just buy this. This is the hose that comes with your shop vac that goes out and you actually do the uh, vacuuming with it. And it's gonna go inside of this one like that and fits really well. And it's gonna go on the outside of that one. So everything is interchangeable and simple. You just need to have a shop vac that has a two and a half inch uh, port on it. Super easy. Well, this one's gonna go right in here. And there we go. Here's an anemometer. We're going to use this to measure the airflow. Um, I'll put a link to this on Amazon in the description below. Um, there's some math to get this to read CFM. I'll put a video, a link to the video I used to get the math to put in here. Down there, I'm not a mathematician or whatever, but we're going to use this. I'm going to straighten out this hose and use this to measure it, and then we'll switch over to the new one and we'll measure that. Hmm. This is a rigid six and a half horsepower wet, wet dry vac. I use this combined with the old dust deputy to, to use while I'm turning on the lathe. I really hadn't even cleaned it about six months, but I just cleaned it. I put a new filter in it just so this, this would all be uh, best results as possible. And I hadn't, I had never changed the filter in this thing. I've only blown it out like, like once or twice. The last time was about six months ago, like I said. So 
Um, we're gonna go ahead and I'll do the old one first and then I'll do the new one. So this goes just like this. Looks like 63 was the number we were getting. Let me switch these over. That was pretty clear and concise that this one can flow a lot more air than than the old one, which the old one, in my opinion, hasn't changed of it. It's still a great thing. Now, the anemometer, the amount of CFMs, uh, it really doesn't matter. We we got to watch the number go up. So if I have the wrong math in there, this is what I'm saying. It, we watched the number go up, and you could actually hear the difference in the video, too. Like, it's that obvious of a difference, how much more air was flowing with this one and that other one and we're going through the exact same hose so that's it's a uh, it's not even negotiable at this point this one is um, a lot more uh, airflow through this one if it's your first time here go ahead and subscribe and watch me use these things in the shop uh, come and watch the live show and we'll see you guys next time and y'all be good <laughs>